Five abandoned cruise liners that will give you the chills. Number five, abandoned cruise ship, MS World Discoverer, Solomon Islands. This German-built, now abandoned cruise ship was constructed in 1974 with a double hull that allowed her the freedom to go places where others couldn't, the icy waters of the Antarctic Peninsula. But like many vessels, the MS World Discoverer was sold and resold over the years and finally ended up wrecked in a place you can easily find on Google Maps. The MS World Discoverer was sailing through the Sandfly Passafay in the Solomon Islands when she struck an uncharted reef. Everyone aboard was safely evacuated, but the ship remained beached. The World Discoverer, however, remains where it was beached in 2000, stripped of anything valuable by local islanders. Number 4. Queen Elizabeth II the jewel in the crown of Britain's venerable Cunard Line, the ocean liner QE2, sailed the seven seas as both a transatlantic ocean liner and as a premium cruise ship from 1969 until her retirement on November 27, 2008. Subsequently, the liner was purchased by Istithmar, the private equity arm of Dubai World, whose stated intention was to convert the vessel into a 500-room floating hotel to be moored at the Palm Jumeirah offshore resort in Dubai. Due to the world financial crisis and its lingering effects on business in Dubai, virtually no work has been carried out on the ship, and rumors have persisted the virtually abandoned QE2 would either be sent to Asia, either to be scrapped in China, or converted into a floating luxury hotel, shopping mall and museum, and so it goes. Number 3. TSS Duke of Lancaster the abandoned TSS Duke of Lancaster has had a rather strange sort of life. Throughout the 1950s and 1960s, it operated as both a passenger ferry and cruise ship, with decor and restaurant service to compete with the very best. In that dual role, she was taken on regular long cruises as a break from her day-to-day -day ferry service, skipping around the ocean from Scandinavia to the Mediterranean. By 1979, the ship was transported to Wales, where it became a permanent fixture. Legal troubles among local authorities diminished the ownership group's control of the ship, and over time, the Duke's sides became coated in graffiti art and started to rust. Number 2. Lyubov Orlova, Ghost Ship, Location Unknown Weighing 4,251 tons, and measuring 295 feet from stem to stern, the Yugoslav-built MV Lyubov Orlova was one tough cookie. The ice-strengthened Maria Yermolova-class cruise ship was launched in 1976 with the express purpose of exploiting the lucrative Antarctic and Alaskan cruise market, which it did quite successfully, for a while anyway. Originally owned by the Soviet Union-based Far East Shipping Company, the Lyubov Orlova began to show her age in the early 2000s, and by early 2010, the ship had been seized and impounded in St. John's, Newfoundland due to mounting debts. In 2012, the Lyubov Orlova was sold to Neptune International Shipping, who planned to break it up for scrap. Unfortunately, the tow rope snapped during transport and the ship was lost. It was last seen on February 23rd, 2013, drifting 1,300 miles off of Ireland. Number 1. Wreck of the Costa Concordia, Genoa, Italy The fate of the cruise ship Costa Concordia is one of the most heartbreaking tragedies in recent maritime history. Only hours after leaving port and only a stone's throw from land, the cruise liner collided with a rocky outcrop. In January of 2012, the enormous vessel struck a reef off the coast of Isola del Giglio near Tuscany. After all was said and done, 32 people lost their lives and the captain was imprisoned for manslaughter. The ship was valued at $500 million and it was declared a total loss. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Check out one of these videos and don't forget to subscribe to support more videos.